Hey guys and welcome back to World of Animals. Today we are going to set up two tanks, these two right behind me, for some guppies. I'm going to breed them in the future and I'm really excited about that, so let's get started. Again, we are starting by adding some regular aquarium gravel. But only a small layer of substrate because I won't plant anything inside here. I just wanted to cover the bottom and I think I don't have enough gravel for the second tank. But yeah, like this. These are going to be some tanks for breeding guppies and not for keeping them in the long term. I want some beautiful ones here. Maybe some panda guppies or some fancy guppies. I'm not sure yet. And these tanks hold about uh, 25 liters. And I will add some sponge filters here because these tanks are so small, the sponge filters are cheap and they do their job quite good. Maybe I can take some out here, put it inside here. No, I have to wash some more of the gravel. So now I have to cut the tube. I've got my air pump over here and then we are going to add our sponge filters. This, take the first one. It, it, oh, okay, that was done. <laughs> like this. Yeah. First one. Put it here in the back. And I'm not going to add any heaters in here because my room is warm enough uh, all the time for guppies. They don't need any heat in here. Yeah, let's see. It's kind of difficult to add the tube, but I did it. And the second one. Now I'm going to put on the first cover. It will cover both aquariums to the half and then we need our water. I will use 5 liters of rain water for each tank but before you add it to your tank you always have to check the parameters and as you guys can see my water is completely clear. There is nothing bad inside uh, even though it looks kind of yellow, but um, that doesn't matter because if I will add some tap water, it will look completely clear. So we can use this water for both tanks. So I put my glass cover on top of both tanks, and now I'm going to add some water to it or to them. Five liters for each tank, and 
for the rest I will use just normal tap water because uh, guppies are quite robust. Right. Well, that didn't work pretty well with this. Um, this part of the flower pot, but it's not um, that bad. It's okay. The water <laughs> from the rainwater is really cold. It's really, really cold. I think about four or five degrees. But the guppy, guppies, hmm. um, I will buy them in about two weeks or something like that. So it's all right. So then the water should be warm enough. Both tanks are not filled up to the top yet, but at this point I wanted to start the filters and see them running here. So far everything looks quite good. And I got some Java Moss from a pet store and we are going to add this on top of some coconuts and yeah hopefully that will look quite good let's put the coconuts with the java moss in here uh, maybe cover the filter a little bit on this side and on this side as well here we go like this. I choose Java Moss because guppies um, love it, especially the fries. They enjoy hiding inside there. To have some more here and half of it I will put inside this tank and the other, pe other piece inside of this tank. Hopefully it will grow well. I got a nice light which I'm going to add soon and we will see. Actually we do add some animals right now. Um, this, These six snails I got from another tank. Three for each um, nano tank here should be good. They will reproduce pretty well. So three is enough for the, for the beginning. All right. Now we add some light. I've got the self-made um, lampshade here, but. I think it will work good enough for this tank, for these tanks. Okay. That looks quite good. To give these tanks a little boost to getting cycled, we add an old sponge from another tank to both of these new nano tanks because they already hold many bacteria which every tank needs of course and we add some 
fertilizer for the moss here. Now I'm going to add the other cover and we are finished. One of the snails just started here and I think these snails love the aquarium gravel as a substrate. Another one is hanging up here on the top and on the other tank, inside the other tank, there we have another one, but it's difficult for the focus to get it, but you can see it here. There. Yeah, there's another one. Alright, so I think we did a pretty good job here, everything looks alright, and in two weeks, or one and a half week, we will see how these tanks are going, and if they are going well, we will add guppies. And of course I want to breed them here and maybe sell them if they are pretty enough but yeah and of course we're just getting started with these two tanks I will add more and more in my room over time but at the moment I'm running out of money <laughs> to buy any new ones but yeah that's what the future will bring. So that was it for today guys. I'm pretty happy with these two tanks. They look quite good and I'm looking forward to the future when I'm getting my guppies and hopefully you liked the video. See you then.